the lead to the women's professional bantamweight title finals. First, fighting out of the knockouts, haircuts for men, red corner. From FYT and Pariah MMA in Colorado Springs, Colorado, please make welcome, Summer, the Clinic Bradshaw. And now, fighting out of the last cop tavern, blue corner, from the North Kyle Fighting Alliance in Santa Rosa, California, Kelly Fazholz. This women's professional man to wait time about is tipping with the five minute rounds over in Stop this. 135-pound professional women's fight. For the Sparta Combat League title, we have Summer Bradshaw representing Pariah MMA and representing Colorado with the orange and blue fight gear. She's facing off against the Northern California fighter, Miss Kelly Fashholes. She is wearing the, uh, let's call it black and teal. Sure, Ron. sure. <laughs> black and teal works. Summer Bradshaw eats a big stiff jab right there, right out of the gate from Kelly Fashholes. Tries to answer with the head kick. Didn't have the height on it that she wanted. Coming from out of state, you and I don't know much about fash holds, but what we're seeing immediately is good footwork. Very good footwork. And really using the distance nicely as fash holds. She's uh, against Bradshaw, who has the height and reach advantage. So fash holds going to have to do that. Working in and out of range there, and so far just stand outside of the range until she's ready. You know, one of the things that I really see out of Fashholes too is that she is really, um, she's very calculated right now. She's very measured, and she's really looking to kind of, it seems to me as though she's looking to step in and throw that right hand when Summer Bradshaw's coming in. And neither fighter looking to clinch, neither fighter even bothering to fake a takedown. I think they might want this to be an all-standing battle, and right as I say that, of course, they go into the clinch. We'll probably see a takedown immediately. Fashold's doing a good job with her posture here up against the cage. Strong girl. Yeah. Drops hip levels nicely to try to get the turn. Bradshaw looking very calm. Gets off a couple of body shots and a nice knee. That landed very solidly for Bradshaw. We've seen this theme of, of fighting against the cage tonight is, is almost all night long. And uh, it would be interesting to see if Kelly Fashols can open up here and land some significant strikes. And at the same time, it'll be interesting to see how Summer Bradshaw can turn Kelly Fashols off the cage. Yeah, Fashols with the body lock here. I'm not sure if she's trying to duck her head underneath and circle to back control or not. And Bradshaw looking for the takedown, just barely missed it, and that speaks well to the defense of Fasholtz. Now Fasholtz gets underneath the arm, gets the body lock that she wants, goes for the belly-to-back suplex, just didn't quite have the height that she needed on that, but she fires off a couple of good knees instead. And Bradshaw looking to bring that left arm up. Let's see if she postures tall, tries to circle that into head control. Really grueling position here, and Fashholtz really working to put it on the ground now. Good control here by Fashholtz. Very good. She's maintained the back position for quite a prolonged period here. Yeah, absolutely right, JR. And one of the things that I'm seeing is she's avoiding a lot of danger. And at the same time, you know, we always say when fighters come here from other states, you know, how they deal with the altitude. It'll be interesting to see how she deals with it, and she's landing some really nice one-twos right now in Summer Bradshaw. That was a big cross that came in for Fashholtz, but Bradshaw immediately looked to answer back. I don't think Summer Bradshaw's hurt at all, but she's just definitely got to get busier. Fashholtz, nice flurry up against the cage here. Rip some hook punches to the body. Bratch almost smiled at that a little bit, sort of a, <laughs> that didn't hurt, but I know it'll look good for the judges, kind of wry grin. I saw that too. Fashold's doing a really nice job of, 
of getting her hips down, avoiding the uh, drop in levels from Bradshaw, and avoiding the takedown altogether. Really nice job by Fasholz of avoiding that. Yeah, the corner of Bradshaw called for that level change, and she did it almost immediately. I think it might have been a little bit of a case of Fasholz heard what was going on from the corner. Yeah, agreed. Just knew what was coming. Yep. And referee Don Theus tells the fighters they have to stay busy in here in the clinch, otherwise you'll separate them. Fasholz changed levels nicely, but was unable to get her hands clasped. Staying really busy with her punches inside his fash holds, but not anything that has any damaging effect, so the referee elects to bring them apart. As it is a professional fight, it's five minute rounds here. Summer Bradshaw has got to get this party going. There we go. 10 second clacker sounded. Looks like we're going to get treated to a round number two here in our 135-pound women's title fight. Very good round for Kelly Fasholz. Good controlling, dirty boxing, good... Uh, Good leverage against the cage and a really nice job of holding on to that body lock, not letting Summer Bradshaw get off. I'm looking at the corner right now of Kelly Fasholz and she seems to be in outstanding shape. This, this altitude does not seem to be bothering her at all. Yeah, she's pretty nonplussed about this whole situation. Absolutely right. More of a, I'm rolling out of bed, going to go make a bowl of oatmeal than I'm in the middle of a title fight out of state. Might as well go fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> really nice job by her. A little bit of a Melianenko kind of thing going on there. Round two. Ron, if you're in the corner of Bradshaw, what were you telling her between rounds? You know, I'm, I'm absolutely going to implore her to get to get busy, and I'm, and I'm going to tell her that she really needs to take control of the, of, the, of the action, not so much the cage, but really start delivering kicks and punches, keep moving, and don't get yourself stuck against the cage because Kelly Fasholz' cage game is solid. I agree. She's got to make sure that she doesn't spend much more time being a counterfighter. And... Speaking well of that here, she is trying to initiate what's happening up against the cage. But again, it's Fasholtz in the clinch that's the one that's really keeping her hands moving. Bradshaw doing a lot of work battling for position, but not landing any strikes. And a very nice job defensively by Summer Bradshaw from preventing those knees that Fasholtz just threw to land. Um, blocked them very well. Avoided any kind of damage. But again, she's, you know, she's tied up on this cage right here from Kelly Fasholz. And again, Fasholz able to duck under and sneak her way into back control. Almost had the pick up and slam. And boy, that was an awkward tweak on the knee of Bradshaw. But she seems to be riding that out and pops Fasholz with a couple of good elbows there. You know, if you're Fasholz right now, you keep that, you keep that lock tight. You step in with your right leg, pop the hips in, and you bring Summer Bradshaw around to the left side as she's trying to do right there. Tried to do it there and even used your left leg to try to kick the feet out, but Bradshaw doing a good job with her base. That's just right. Dropping levels, keeping her hips heavy and low. Summer's got to get busy, though. Nice control of the range this evening by Fasholtz. Brilliant control. Looked like Bradshaw missed on the spinning elbow there, and Fasholtz able to take advantage. And again, a nice backward elbow lands there for Bradshaw, but Fasholtz really starting to take control of the fight here. And she really has from, from minute one. Nice skipping elbow for Bradshaw. That was possibly her best technique of the fight. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if any blood starts leaking out from there. That was a real slicing shot. Okay, and now I'm starting to see some big heavy breathing from Kelly Fasholz right now. Be a good time for Bradshaw to start attacking the body, see if she can sap some of the energy and 
come out strong for the third. Summer Bradshaw seems to be waiting for Kelly Fashels to get going, to throw and then react. And she can't do that and win this fight. Yeah, she wound up for a technique. She started to throw it and then almost like she caught herself thinking. Yes. Just sort of got tied up in that. Sort of a throw it or don't type situation. And that's what her corner's telling her too. They want her to just start start rolling and being smooth with the techniques and let it go. And you know when 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 Summer Bradshaw is, is aggressive, she's tough to beat. And I have a feeling that if she really gets aggressive in this third round, she might make Kelly Fashel step back just like she did. Good left hand landed there for Bradshaw. And now right and followed by another left. Bradshaw finding a home for her head punches. Bradshaw shaking off everything that's being thrown at her. And when she steps in, she's landing. Fasholt's able to put it to the ground. Timed the technique nicely, got the body lock. That's a nice blast double right there from Kelly Fasholt. Very well done. Got to have some wrestling pedigree in that. Up kick, glances off for Bradshaw. It's going to make Fasholt think about what she's going to do with her guard pass here. and Tries to come down into side control. Hasn't quite stuffed the left knee yet. See if she's able to do so and settle into side control. Kelly Fashold with some excellent positioning right now, keeping those hips heavy. Just as she went for side control, Bradshaw, good job getting on a hip. Needs to protect the neck, though. She can't rest here. That's right. Bradshaw cannot relax in this position. A little bit of no man's land here for Bradshaw. Fashold's almost looking like she's looking to set up a Peruvian necktie. Ten second clacker sounded. Fashholt's looking for the arm bar. She's not going to be able to get it. We're going to a third. We are going to the third and final round. Excellent second round as well. here Summer Bradshaw taking on Kelly Fashold in a very very tight fight right now Sparta Combat League's title is on the line Superwoman punch telegraphed and evaded by Fashold's Bradshaw coming out smiling it's kind of like yeah let's get this on Oh, a nice head kick for Bradshaw. And Summer Bradshaw has hurt Kelly Fashel. She flashed her with a head kick. Bradshaw looking to put her power on display here. She gets one or two of those to land well. She might be able to do something with it, but Fashholtz has shown time and again. She's able to get, back, get the back and score the takedown. Fashholtz with a fantastic Greco game, and she's really shown that tonight. Bradshaw can't rest here. And does a good job coming across with the elbow. Now Bradshaw looking to put her size advantage to work. Trying to jam Fashholtz up against the cage. Separation, gotta get your hands up when you separate. 
Kel Kelly Fasho looking a little bit tired right now, JR. Yeah, I think she's still feeling the effects of that head kick. Her feet seem solidly under her, but she's just not quite as clear-eyed as she was. Oh. oh, and she eats a hard shot, but walks through it and lands. Double right hands, does Fasholtz. <coughs> and now it's Bradshaw looking for the takedown, but Fasholtz wraps up the head on the way to the ground. That's, that's tight. I, I can't tell if Bradshaw tapped. I guess not. Referee hasn't stopped it. Fasholtz looking to adjust her position here. Bradshaw going to try to pop the... Pop her head out here. Going to push that elbow down. And there's the tap out. Congratulations to Kelly Fasholt. The NorCal fighter comes in and takes home the title. Summer Bradshaw getting caught in a choke. Caught in that guillotine. Didn't know if Kelly Fasholt would have the strength late in the fight to finish that. But she did a fantastic job of cinching up that neck. And as you referenced, JR, the Northern California fighter comes in here and takes the title from Summer Bradshaw. Congratulations on your belt, your victory, Kelly Fazos.